Hey everybody, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're talking about what are the summers like in Northwest Arkansas. So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you could like this video, hit that, hit that button, hit that button. I'd really appreciate that. It just makes sure that my content goes in front of the right people at the right time looking to move here. Hey, that could be you. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. And the first thing we need to talk about Northwest Arkansas summers is the fact that they are pretty dry. There isn't a lot of rain that happens in the Northwest Arkansas summers just because it does rain a little, probably quite a bit in the springtime. Not as much as I'm used to like Illinois kind of style stuff, but it does rain, you know, quite, a, I would say enough. And then because obviously we have lush trees, lush grass, we have everything is green down here. So many, so much green. And so the summer times it dries out quite a bit. And I kind of like that because that means that, you know, all the events that are happening outside, which we'll talk about in a little bit, all the events, everything is happening outside. is kind of easy to manage because of the fact that like we just know that there's not going to be a whole lot of rain. And so when it actually does rain, it's kind of a welcome thing because of the fact like, oh my gosh, it's been like three weeks since it's rained. We got like, you have to, you know, watch your plants you know, watch your plants and then all the different things like make sure they're still being watered. And so it does get pretty dry down here, but it's like the grass still is green, everything's still green, but it's just, it's a weird thing because the actual soil itself is more clay based. And so it's still pretty wet. The fact that it's pulling all this water from here. So nothing really dies out per se. It just gets a little drier and it doesn't rain as much, which is great for me because I love spending so much time outdoors. And so in Illinois, you know, you don't, you're not quite sure when it's going to rain. Uh, cause I moved here from Chicago land area. And so you're not quite sure when it's gonna rain. So down here, you're, it's pretty predictable that it's gonna be dry for most of the summer. So I'm all good at that. And the second thing about Northwest Arkansas summers is the fact that it's hot, but it's not too hot. It's not too spicy. Currently right now, we're kind of going through a heat wave, but it's kind of so, so is America. But usually the summers, like last couple summers have been like right around like the, like the low nineties, 93, 92 at the highest point. And so the humidity is pretty cut down a little bit, especially during the dry parts of summer. So it's not, it's not really too hot compared to Illinois. Like Illinois was uh, definitely cooler, but it's a lot more humid just because like the Great Lakes, like Michigan and all the corn and all the different, everything over there was just, it's just, it's, it's really humid over in Illinois and also Wisconsin as well. So if you are coming down, if you are coming from like Colorado, if you are coming from Portland, Oregon, or even California to some extent, or even uh, some of the Arizona parts, it is going to be more humid than what you're used to, but you're, especially Arizona, you're, the heat is going to be nothing for you here. Um, but if you are coming from Colorado, if you are coming from those kind of areas, just know that it's going to be warmer and hotter than what you are used to and also a little more humid. But the nice thing is that the winter time, it doesn't get nearly as cold as some of the northern states, obviously. It, it hardly ever snows here. And if it does snow, it's like gone the next day. So obviously you're, you're probably coming down here for the more bearable winters to say the least. And so you can basically be outdoors all year long, but the summer times you can be outdoors all year long too, because it doesn't get really too hot out here. People are still biking all the time, running, hiking, swimming, kayaking, the whole thing. And so uh, the summers are really enjoyable down here in comparison to other parts of America, like Florida. Sometimes it just gets crazy hot, crazy humid, Louisiana, Texas. Like right now in Texas, my gosh, it's like 150 degrees on there. How do you live in there? Hmm, that reminds me. I have a 3D itinerary. So maybe you're coming down here, maybe in the summertime, and you're thinking about checking out Northwest Arkansas. There's a 3D itinerary linked down below for you. Maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you have kids, maybe you're a sightseer. There's a 3D itinerary linked down below for you. So go ahead and download that because when you, you're gonna quickly realize when you come down here, there's so much to do down here. So the 3D itinerary kind of helps you focus on some of those amazing core things you can do down here. And also when you do come down here, I can kind of give you the $10 tour. So kind of show you around the whole area. And on top of that, we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. And the third thing you need to know about Northwest Arkansas summers is we are very big on anything water, floating, pools, kayaks, any sort of river sports or water sports or anything like that, we are on it like all over it. Beaver Lake, it's all there. Beaches, it's all there. So we have splash pads, it's all there. Pools, all there. Northwest Arkansas is equipped for any sort of water thing you could possibly imagine ever. We have waterfalls, we have anything you want, we have it. And so the summertime is definitely geared towards anything water. A lot of the times, you know, families will bring their kids to the, all the splash pads around the area. We have the uh, Buffalo River, we have the Illinois River, River, we have the White River. We have all sorts of rivers down the float. We have people that kayak. We have people that obviously there's some rapids down the Buffalo as well. So that's the thing. We have so many different pools, both public and also private within, you know, obviously there's apartments and, you know, community pools. So anything when it comes to summertime, pools all the time, water all the time. So if you want to, you know, you want to spend more time around water, you want you are your water person. Northern Arkansas has it covered when it comes to water, for sure. And I mentioned this in a previous little section, but the number four is that Northern Arkansas is usually a little cooler than most of the South in general. And that's because we kind of had these like rolling mountains, we'll call them mountains, but we sit at a little bit higher elevation depending on where you are in Northern Arkansas. But on top of that, we have a lot of trees and so that kind of cools everything down. And so that usually shades a lot of the roads. And so it keeps all the cities really just a lot cooler um, than other parts of the Southern US, so to speak. So 
So if you, you know, you don't want extreme heat, if you go to Little Rock, it is a flat area and it's, there's no trees down there. It's really hot, very, very hot in Little Rock, Arkansas. But up in Northwest Arkansas, there's a lot of valleys and dips and stuff, uh, when especially you start going through the mountains. And so it drops about, you know, there could be a 10 degree difference between parts of Northwest Arkansas just because the trees and the coolness and the dips and the mountains and everything else. So it really is like a cooler area, like cooler temperature area comparison to most of, you know, the South and also in Arkansas in general. And last but certainly not least, summertime is definitely dedicated to music, outdoor stuff, any sort of recreation besides water stuff, but music, outdoor, community events, the whole thing. We have basically all of our farmer markets go from like March all the way till December. So they end around Christmas time because obviously we can be outside that long. And so, Summertime is great for all the farmers markets. This is the time and place to get any sort of vegetables. Now, the one thing, the really cool thing is that you kind of have two harvests here because you have like the spring to summer harvest. And then you have like later in the fall harvest once everything's kind of starts dying off in December, November time. And so uh, right now is a perfect time to get anything farmers market. Every city city has a farmers market. They're wonderful. Um, on top of that, there's so many community events like music, like any, every city has music almost every single night outdoors because outdoors it's uh, it usually doesn't rain obviously and so we can plan all these big events around outdoor times you know there's first fridays for benville there's first thursdays for fayetteville all the different cities have different events going on we have the amphitheater which is an open space uh where it, it you know it's an open space it's not indoor sp space it's an open space for like twenty thousand people to watch concerts so a lot of these things are based around you know spring summer fall especially in the summertime because you know it's it's gorgeous outside the, the sunsets are amazing of course and uh, it's just so much enjoyable to be outdoors enjoying the weather enjoying all these community events music, everything uh, in the summertime in Northwest Arkansas. So if you want any of those things, definitely check out Northwest Arkansas, of course. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Really appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you are thinking about moving down to Northwest Arkansas, download my three-day itinerary link below. Maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you have kids. There's a three-day itinerary link down below for you. And also when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour. So it'll kind of show you around the whole area and we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.